Hi guys, now in question 11a, a typical vectors and matrices section, section 2 on the May 2012 paper, it's, here it states the points A, B and C have position vectors where O to A is equal to 6 uh, over 2, 6, 2 rather, uh, O to B is equal to 3, 4 and O to C is equal to 12, negative 2 respectively. Here they are asking us to express in the form x, y, the vector, b to a, which is easy two marks, and the vector in part b, b to c, which is another easy two marks. Now, before I start, my friends, I'm just basically going to walk you through this um, because this is an area on the syllabus that um, persons always uh, say give, gives them a lot of a trouble, okay? So I'm just going to walk you through it just to show you the concept, how we come up by our answers, how we come by the answers, okay? Now notice, if you if you realize here, I'm underlining the word position, okay? And vector. Now a position vector, it simply means that you're starting from the origin. So what I'm going to do now, just to give you a, a better appreciation of what is happening, I'm going to switch boards, all right? So here we go. Now my friends, same question here I've made a note of the position vectors that they gave us now if you should notice O to A is 6 2 so what I'm going to do I'm going to mark that point now the 6 represents the, the movement on the x-axis and the 2 represents the movement on the y-axis note you don't have to draw a graph you wouldn't be required to draw a graph in the exam I'm just doing this just to uh, explain the fundamentals the whole concept behind it so here I'm at 6 on my x-axis and I'm going up to 2 on my y-axis so that would be the point 6 2 okay and that is A all right so if you notice my origin is O so what they're basically saying my friends is that the point from O and let me just pull this up quickly what they're simply saying from O to A let me just grab grab a line here so from the origin here to the point a there that's simply what they're saying is 6 to 2 now quickly let's move on uh, here we have it again my friends they are saying here O to B is 3 4 so basically the 3 the top value 3 here would represent my X value so what I'm doing I'm going to be running 3 on my X axis and then I'm running up to 4 on my Y axis okay so that's the point there and that's my point B all right and basically, um, again, let me just draw a line just to show you what is happening, my friends. All right. So let me change the color. This line here would represent the distance from O to B. Now, the final point is O to C. So here we have it again. Uh, o to C is 12 on my x-axis remember the 12 is at the top and it's positive so I'm going 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 on my x-axis so I'm there and the y value is negative 2 so negative means I'm going down okay and that's 1 2 so that's the point there and again um, I could just draw a line just to indicate to you uh, that distance okay so let's let's just quickly change the color here uh, I think I'm going to use a green this time around. Okay, my friends. So let's use a green. So this would be the distance from the origin to there. Okay, so that's my C. So let's just grab it. So that's my C. All right. So there we have our three points. All right. Now, quickly, uh, they're asking us to calculate. And again, I could just switch back just to remind you, uh, just in case you forget, they're asking us to calculate from B to A. And that's an easy two marks. And we should express it in the form X, Y, X over Y. Okay. So let's just quickly switch back and show you the idea behind that. Now, if they're asking us to calculate B to A, then it simply means then, my friends, I'm going to have to move from B straight down to my origin, and then I'm moving from my origin straight up to the point A as, I'm, as I've run my pointer along there, okay? So if you notice, uh, O to B is 3, 4, okay? So when I moved O to B, that was a positive movement, 3, 4. So it simply means that if I'm moving backwards, that should be a negative movement. So in, ca in my calculation, I would have a negative 3, 4, okay? And 
from the origin, we have already ha established what is O to A, and we have that, 6, 2. So all we're going to do is we're just going to add those two vectors. Okay, my friends? So let's just quickly switch back boards and do our calculation over our blue board. Okay, so what they're saying, they're asking us to calculate the vector in part A. And let me just make a note here. Part A, they're asking us to calculate B to A. Okay? b to a so that would be equal to and we're simply remember we said we are moving in a negative direction so we'll be moving since they gave us ob o to b to be positive 3 over 4 that would be a negative 3 upon 4 okay 3 4 and we are simply adding to that our distance from o to a okay so our o to a is 6 2 so I'm just going to add 6 to. That's just the general idea, okay? And let's see what we get from this. So this is equal to, this is going to be, this, all right, let me just use one uh, vector, minus 3, minus 4. These two going to become negative, plus 6, plus 2, okay? So basically, my friends, we know that uh, negative 3 plus 6, that will leave me with a positive 3. And minus 4 plus 2, that will leave me with a negative 2. Okay, so let's just close that. So this is my vector. So therefore, therefore, uh, b to a, okay, the vector b to a in the form xy is equal to, let's just change the color, it's equal to 3, negative 2. Okay, and I can even prove that to you on the graph, okay? Remember, B A is equal to 3, negative 2. The 3 meaning that if I'm moving from B to A, I would move 3 on the x-axis, positive 3, and negative 2 on the y-axis. And I can prove that to you, my friends, okay? So basically, if I'm at B, remember, it was 3, negative 2. So I'm moving 1, 2, 3 on the x, and 1, 2 down to my A. And it's pretty much that easy, okay? See you in the next video where I will be calculating or writing uh, the, the vector B to C, okay? In the previous video, we had solve for part A, which we have here, okay? So now in part B, they're asking us to, uh, to write the vector BC in the form XY, okay? Again, my friends, let's just switch uh, back to our board where, you know, um, this can explain it to you a lot clearer, okay? So here they are asking us to calculate the distance from B here straight down to C here, okay? So let's quickly look at that. Now, if you notice, they gave us O to B. So if I'm, if they're asking me for B, B to C, then it simply means I'm going to position myself at B and I'm going straight back to the origin and then I'm moving down to C, okay? Now, remember, um, O to B was positive. So again, as in the previous video, uh, since I'm moving from B to O, that will be a negative value. Okay, good. So let's just quickly switch boards and calculate that. So here we have it. They're asking us to calculate the vector B to C. Okay, so that is equal to a negative. Remember, O to B, that was positive. So automatically, it's going to become a negative 3, 4. Okay close our vector plus I will have O to C and O to C here my friends that's a positive tw that's a 12 minus 2 there okay now my friends um, let's just let's just clean this up quickly so here I will have open bracket and I'll have a negative 3 this negative will turn these two into two negatives okay plus 12 and here I have a negative 2, so minus 2, okay? So pretty much what I have left over here, I have a negative 3 plus 12. That will leave me with a positive 9, okay? And I have a negative 4 minus 2. That will leave me with a negative 6, okay? And that's it's pretty much like that, okay? So this would be our answer. So therefore, therefore, okay? And we can just change the color just to highlight that. Therefore, my vector B to C is 9, negative 
six and it's pretty easy um, again we could go over to our board and I could show you and please remember that the value at the top is the X and that's a nine and the value at the bottom is the Y movement and that's a negative six okay so let's just switch back board and I'll show you how we came by that answer now they said we were at B okay and we we and we're moving to C. When we calculated it just now, we got a nine negative six. So what this is saying, to move from B to C, nine, I have to move nine on my x-axis, positive nine, so I would go to my right. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? And I am coming down negative six, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a negative six movement. So there you see it, both in the calculations and when we prove it on the graph we got the same value okay hope that this was useful feel free to leave a comment subscribe or like uh, the video or even share with your friends so that they too can also benefit from this movement okay my friends bye bye see you